This is the Christmas show for 2017. Uh, that's right, it's Friday, December 22nd, 2017. X Mass is on Monday. So we do our Christmas show right here, right now, tonight, live with you on RealLibertyMedia.com. So glad to have you all here with us, wherever you may be tuned in from, uh, whether that may be on the video stream where we is your best place to be especially on a christmas show because of all the cool christmas videos that we get oh look at that i got a call i got a call i got a call uh, anyway because of all the cool cool christmas videos that we get uh that you that you'll miss out on if you're not tuned in and watching and then i'll um but but and the chat the chat's right there but if you're listening on the audio stream that's absolutely cool too uh you know wherever you may be on the rlm radio stream whether it be on delivery media itself or rlm radio xyz on freedoms network if you're listening on tunein.com or internetradio.com we're good with all of you <laughs> Howdy, Moose Girl. Howdy. How the heck are you? I'm good. Well, good. That's good. That's good. So, uh. Yeah. yeah How right. are you? What's that again? How are you? Oh, I'm good too. Thank you. <laughs> good, good, good. Uh, so, yeah, just getting uh, everything, make sure everything's working here. Everything looks good. Working 100%. All right. I'm on a new browser this week. New web browser. Ooh, and, and it looks, which one? And it looks exactly like Firefox. Which one is it? <laughs> it's called Waterfox. Ooh. Fire, water, you know. I get it. Yeah, and, but but the uh, what the what the what the developer of this Waterfox has done, he, he's he's uh, taking all the nasty stuff Mozilla had put in there for you know, keeping track of what you're up to and spying on you and all that stuff. And he take it all out of there. But yeah. you, can't, you can't tell no difference, I mean, from because all that stuff was in the back end. So, and, and uh, so you just copy your profile over to the new Waterfox uh, profile directory, and boom, it looks exactly like it did, except for instead of an orange little icon, it's a blue one. Yeah? Yeah. So, anyway, yeah, I'm going to cool. try it. Yeah, 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 uh, you know, I think it's better. Anyway, not right uh, now. But. Well, no, not right this moment. <laughs> <laughs> not right now. But anyway, howdy to all the folks that are out there. Oh yeah, let me uh, post this over there in the uh, corner pocket so those people know that we're on. Oops, I don't, I don't, I don't have a thing to paste over there. I gotta, I gotta recopy. <laughs> then, I, then I can paste. All right. Um, so, yeah, how do you folks over in the corner pocket there on the uh, Crush and Run network? What happened? I come, I, oh, I only got part of it. I, only, I, I, didn't, I didn't quite copy the whole thing. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I did that. What the hell? Yeah. All right, let me try that again. <laughs> All right. That's funny. All right. Um, uh, anyway, so, yeah, how do you, you folks over there and uh, wherever else you may be tuning in from? Uh, uh, water Fox. Fox. Just like Firefox, except right. Water Fox. Water Fox. F-O-X. Now, Water Fox are okay, but that's not what we're dealing with here. No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, how do you cowboy and uh, you and me and Miss Kate and... Mr. Azamodius, uh, Beth Z, uh, Chalcedonian, Chloe, and Free Enslaved, and Gramsy. Gramsy. Oh, I, I owe her special thanks for certain things that I'm not even going to tell you about. All right. Yeah, Don C. and uh, Java, Duck Died, and Wana Taco, and Meester Brow, uh, Miss Rain there, and the Fluke Bot. Trust no one. Rome's. How'd you do with all that uh, uh, slam down on, on the Bitcoin today there? I know it didn't really help me that much. <laughs> anyway, we got anti hen from down under. He's already on uh, further, closer towards Christmas there, I guess. Ooh, Vin E just popped in. And then we got Mr. Ben Wah. Uh, and Colfax, is, looks like he's away. 
Dakota and Dima and Frumpy Gary L joining us tonight. Who's this crazy guest? I don't know. Uh, it's Flash. Oh no, that's JJ's. Oh, uh, okay. The guest nine is Flash. Oh, okay. <laughs> but the other guest is uh, JJ's. And we got Kozu and Moe and Pox. Are you around tonight, Pox? All right, the uh, Pone he Sauce. Doesn't, no, I don't think he is. Well, he should be. He, he put some requests in there. Anyway, uh, we got oh, Flim, uh, Jim uh, Flim. Yeah, 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 he did. Okay, good. And uh, Teddy and uh, Phantom and uh, other folks that are out there hanging around that we don't know about. Welcome to you, too. Right. <laughs> Welcome to the Xmas Speakers Ball. That's right. And I and I don't like even saying Xmas or Christmas anymore because I'm not. I don't consider myself oh, I, a person. I, 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 love, I love saying so, Xmas. Yeah. It's, so I say Yule sometimes. The Yule um, was uh, yesterday. Yule tide started yesterday. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yep. That was the twenty first. That's the solstice day. Right. So. Uh, and that's the day I prefer to celebrate because, I, like I said, I don't consider myself to be a Christian, so... And you know. that's fine, but I, I love saying x Mass. Well, yeah, it's fun <laughs> to say that. <laughs> I, just, well, love uh, I love emphasizing <laughs> the X. x Mass. <laughs> x Mass. Uh, double barrel bong, yes, indeedy. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah. Okay, man. <laughs> I've had triple bubbles and double bubbles, but I've never had double barrels. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, uh, so, yeah. Um, do so you have you, enough songs queued up for X? Uh, I, I think so. I think I think we got enough, but if not, people could keep on requesting, you know. Right. Uh, yeah, sure. And and by the way, this is the the, the X Mass, the Christmas, the Yule, the Hanukkah, the Kwanzaa, the uh, what's it, Festivus <laughs> show, uh, whatever you want to call it, guys. It's up to you. Uh, whatever works best for you. Um, but but but, but um, next week is the, uh, the next Friday night, not on New Year's Eve. But next Friday night, being the yeah. 29th of December, 2017, will be the New Year's Eve show. So I yeah. remind you, once again, that you can go ahead and put your predictions in for next year by typing exclamation point predict a space and then your prediction for next year. Whatever you actually truly believe is going to happen if you've uh, foretold something and and if you don't have anything by the end by the end of next week during the show next week we will take call-ins or re, or or predictions within the uh, chat room there it, wh whatever works really but uh, and we'll go through last year's predictions next week too so that'll be cool we've done it for several years now yes yeah I was looking <laughs> I was looking through some of the old ones the other day back from like 2012 <laughs> no I think I was right the first time. What's that? Hanukkah? How to spell Hanukkah? Oh, it's Chaka Khan. I call it sometimes because they sometimes they spell it. <laughs> well, they they spell it with a C sometimes. That uh, uh, there's like ten different ways to spell that word. <laughs> Happy Chaka Khan to y'all. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> anyway. Happy Chaka Khan. <laughs> Uh, well, we'll get to your prediction next week there, Aunt Diane. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> but you can go ahead and make more for next show. year. <laughs> anyway, um, so you got a new car. I did. I got a new vehicle. And you didn't sound real happy about it in the chat I'm there. Not, I don't know yet, man. But uh, let me tell you, let me tell you, it takes a while. I mean, I know, the, 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 I know. The, 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 she, she's had a previous owner. Yep. And she got used to the methods and idiosyncrasies of that owner, whoever that was. Right. And and so you and her, you just need to... Yeah, it'll be fine. It's just, it snowed yesterday. Now, would you, what, would you what, what's her name? I have no name yet. I don't have a name yet. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, that, that'll help the process. Yeah, okay. <laughs> anyway, um... It snowed yesterday, and I didn't like how it handled compared to the other vehicle in the snow. Well, it is a lighter vehicle, so you're gonna you're gonna 
definitely feel a difference. That's the thing, yeah. Um, so I'm kind of like bummed. Well, you shouldn't be. You shouldn't be. I, I don't think you should be that. anyway. I, I think I think you'll grow to love her. <laughs> it's a nice looking vehicle. That's not even oh, an it's issue. A, it's a cool vehicle. Good performance. Good good uh, good accessories. Yeah. You know, it, it's a nice all around vehicle. It, um, it is. It's true. It, it's not going to be as tough. As a, as a, as a, as, a, as the uh, the edge, right. But but you're gonna find that's that. That's the thing that I'm bumming about. Well, that's okay. But uh, compare it to to something else that you had, another car that you had that you loved. My Honda Civic. Okay, compare it to that, and it was uh, because that was obviously a a much different vehicle with. Uh, less yes. less amenities and 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 things, but you you True. dug that car. I did. So. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like you say, it just takes some getting used to. It's yeah. all wheel drive, but I just didn't like how it handled compared to the Edge in the snow. Yeah, well, you know. And my my in my mind, it's because the Edge is a heavier vehicle. Well, it's that, and and well, yeah, it's that. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is, exactly. Yeah. So, you know, I, well, I should have... I'll tell you what, throw some sandbags in the back there. and <laughs> That could screw up the drivetrain, though. <laughs> no, that won't screw up the drivetrain. Uh, it's built to take a load. Uh, anyway, so... Yeah, I guess so. I c- mean, congrats, it's kind of Congrats like, on, uh, on the new vehicle. I mean, I, yeah, thanks. I mean, i got to drive, you know... It's just I should have probably got a better vehicle for this snow because what's this pro- driving uh, Vin- in the fucking Vin- snow sucks, dude. What's going on in the chat here? Vinny's trying to give barman a hand job. I'm, 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 I did read something wrong. <laughs> I don't know. He, he doesn't. Have, he doesn't have any parts. <laughs> you can't really do that for him. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh my God, Vinny. <laughs> Aren't you just in Vegas? Can't you? Don't, and I'm sure you don't have enough money to get a hooker, but. <laughs> oh man. Anyway. <laughs> um, well, I'm glad you got the car. Uh, you, you know. Um, and I'm glad. Yeah, I'm glad I'm you glad. picked. I'm, I'm glad you yeah. picked one that wasn't brand new. Um, right. Yeah. Well, that's the thing, and you know, if you if you want leather seats, you have to go up. You can't get the basic model. Basic model of any vehicle does not have leather seats. No. Period. No. And so, if you want leather seats, you have to go up. You know, a mo- up to the second or third model of the vehicle, right? Right. And I've had cars with cloth seats. Too. I yeah. do not like cloth seats. Cloth seats can rip and tear a lot easier than leather seats can. No, certainly cloth they can. Cloth seats can get stained. You know. Um, Sure, that's, and, like the, and you know that's that's why they make seat covers. Right. Well, yeah. <laughs> but once you're used to to it, you don't want cloth again. If you have a, a vehicle with leather seats, you you do not want to go back to cloth seats. You just don't. I'm just saying. Yeah. No. Uh, when I well, I that's what I got in the uh, in the Jeep. I, I bought the X the, the X model, uh, yep. which was the base model. Uh, for, right. for the Wrangler in uh, 2004, that's um, been great. I, I've had no problems with those seats uh, or the whatever carpet on the floor or any other problem with it. Um, so, uh, you, you know, uh, it, it all depends on what you got. You got a family. Well, not 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 really. Your kids got their own vehicle now, so right. Uh, that that's less of an issue for you. Exactly. Yeah. True. It's just you can't clean them. You can't clean fucking class seats. You cannot. I don't care what you fucking say. You can't get them I, clean. I, I they get said... stained, they're fucking stained. And they'll be stained the rest of the time you own the fucking vehicle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm sure that's true. And and, and, and if it and if that's important to you then 
You definitely want I something I think it else. helps the resale value as well. Well, yeah. Because it, it just, leather looks better. Leather, 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 leather's car. great. I, I love leather yeah. seats. I've had I've had cars with leather, and uh, yep. yeah, those those are those are great. So they are. <laughs> I'm just saying. But you know, the GPS. I really didn't need that. I mean, that you know, it actually, this one does have a CD player. Like I felt really stupid when I. No, it's not but, red. But but it's the got, edge is it's, red. got it's got it's got a USB port, right? Oh yeah yeah. Yeah, so you just plug your MP3 player into it. You don't, you know. Yeah, well, I don't have one. I don't have that. I'm not up to date with that way. Well, you got, you got, you got your your cell phone's got uh, capability, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you just put punch a bu put a bunch of music on there and plug that sucker in. Right. Yeah. I might just put on a flash drive or something. Oh, is that? Does it have a? a, a... No. I, how would it do I, that? No, the, the Honda had that. Oh, oh, okay. Where you could just put all your music on a flash drive, several see. flash drives, <laughs> you know, and it yeah. would come up and show you all the songs on there and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I can hook up my phone to. You know. So basically, basically, the Honda had a built-in MP3 player. It just needed a source. Right, right. Yeah, okay. So I get that's it. the tw you know that's. I, I got a 2015, so it still has a CD player in it. But ah. I felt really stupid asking the guy, does it have a CD player? Uh, no, most car, most new vehicles don't have them now. <laughs> I felt really fucking stupid. Uh, you know, <laughs> it's all right. I mean, you know, yeah, 8-track and a hookah. There you go, Ben. Yeah, um. <laughs> there you go. 8-track, man. Yeah, groovy. <laughs> I have an 8-track in the cars I've had before, too. That's yep. so old school. Well, I was old. I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> I had cars when I was young, and I had an eight track <laughs> I'm old too. What that means. Oh, oh my God! Yeah, rear wheel drive. Oh yeah. I don't think I've ever had a car with rear wheel drive. Maybe my Escort was. I don't know. I can't remember. No, you said you had like a, a Chevy piece of crap. What was that? Monza. Yeah, Monza, that yeah. was a rear wheel drive. Yeah, that would have been a rear wheel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that fucking thing. Oh my god, I hated that car. I mean, I loved it because I was a senior in high school and I got it. Yeah. But it just, oh man, that thing was a pile. That thing was a fucking piece of shit. Well, oh we're not god. talking about some kind of molester van here, there, Benoit. Yeah, no. You want to you want to go that route, man? That sounds like a perfect vehicle for you, not for me. Anyway, let's let's kick it off with some Christmas music here. Um, yes. Ho ho ho, y'all. Ho ho, fucking ho. Well, not that one yet, but oh, we'll okay. get there. Yeah, we will be playing that one. We will get there. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Uh, anyway, happy Xmas to y'all in this. Is uh, about another crappy old Chevrolet. Oh yeah, little Gary Hoey there with Mr. Grinch, the king of the uh, Christmas surf guitar. Uh, very nice. Before that, we had Leon Redbone and uh, Dr. John doing it Cajun style. Frosty the Snowman. Mr. Kate, uh, Mr. Kate? Kate found us that little gem. Uh, excellent stuff there, Kate. Uh, so we kicked it off with Da Yopers. <laughs> da Yopers. Rusty Chevrolet. <laughs> uh, what's that? Don't you know? Don't you know? Yeah, I, I love the Uppers. Yeah, yeah, I do too. <laughs> yeah. So, you gotta uh, talk like a Norwegian. Norwegian. Sure. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. man, yeah. So now, um, did you? Uh, what is that? Oh, okay, I know what that is. Um. Okay. Did, did, did <laughs> you get your uh, kids some Christmas presents? Maybe. 
Well, I, I did, yeah. I gave him a friggin' vehicle. Well, yeah, there's that. <laughs> yeah, so that's the present. That's a pretty good one. But are you Merry getting Merry fucking Christmas. No. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. But are you getting them other stuff, too? Yeah, um, a few things. Nothing major, though. Oh, okay. Well, cool. Uh, <laughs> they're, yeah. they're here right now. I cannot say. Oh, I'm not asking you what you might have got. I'm just saying, did you? All right. I did. It made me go broke. No, yeah, I broke well. for five days. I, I don't, I don't, Yay! I don't. Merry Christmas! <laughs> yeah, Merry Christmas, you broke son of a bitch. Um, yeah, oh shit, right? <laughs> so anyway. I it, got some stuff they need. So. Oh, well cool. Uh, anyway, so Christmas, um, uh, Yule, uh, Hanukkah, whatever, um, now, uh, Grammy had a little good, good little discussion about what Christmas is all about and mm -hmm. all that happy stuff. Um, so I don't know if you want to talk about that kind of thing or. Sure. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I am very. I'm. I work full time, and I like. You know, I I the week. The weekend after Thanksgiving, I said to the boys, you guys can set up a tree any time, right? Well, then, we won those tickets to the Packers game, and we had to go to the game on December 3rd. And it was the weekend that, and then Matt said he would put the outside lights on the house. And it was 45 degrees outside that weekend, okay? All right, all right. So he doesn't put the lights up, because he wanted different kinds of lights. So we tried to find the lights, we couldn't find them. So no lights got put on the outside of the house, right? The tree, he did manage to put the tree up and string some lights around it. <laughs> That's as far as we got for that. <laughs> that. Oh. So we do have an actual, our fake tree, you know, it's up. It does have string, some strings of lights on it. Yeah. That's as far as we got. I'm like, fuck it, you know? Yeah, well, yeah, if it's good enough, it's good enough. I, I mean, I mean you know, I, not, I don't, I don't, I don't. I don't do anything. I, I don't. I don't. I don't put no decoration up or nothing. I like lights. I like Christmas lights because you know. And I like my birthday's in December. The one good thing about your birthday being in December is like when you go to a restaurant or go out and about anywhere. Yeah. You have all these Christmas lights out. Looks really cool. Yeah. Well, they do it for you. And that, that's a, yeah. They do it for me. Yeah. It's just for me. <laughs> well, not just for you, because also two days ago was it yesterday? So two days ago, I think. The, the, no, I, I beat Don C's birthday. It was a couple days ago. Right. Uh, and on Christmas Day, that's Asmo's birthday. I, I, it's it's Asmo Miss. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, you know, the, I guess I'll they get it for wh whoever else maybe in this in this range. Probably, probably, uh, and as you were growing up. Uh, as a, as a child, you probably got less for your birthday than other people. Uh, no, I don't think so. I think my mom did a pretty good job of keeping birth my birthday and Christmas separate. Um, she let me have like birthday parties and have friends over and have slumber parties and you know stuff like that. So I don't feel I was deprived because my birthday was so close to Christmas. I think it would suck if you were born on Christmas. That would be the worst. So, so Asmo got ripped off, you think? Yeah, he got ripped. He gets ripped. <laughs> yeah. Well, sorry, dude. I mean, think about it. Think about your poor parents. It's his birthday and it's Christmas on the same fucking day. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> well, at, I mean, le I at, at, le at least at least he didn't have JWs as as parents, so. Right. And my boys are lucky because their <laughs> birthday is in May, and then. Then Christmas comes around, so they get gifts in May, and then they get gifts in December. Yeah, that's a nice separation. So that's a pretty good, yeah. Yeah. Two times a year they get, you know. You know, mine mine was in August, so. Oh, it's right. still it's still in August. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I don't believe. See, I don't believe. See, I could be Jewish because, but I'm not. But I could be because I don't. I do not believe in the immaculate conception. I think Mo it's a bunch of bullshit. Moosen, <laughs> I think that's Moosenstein. a bunch of bullshit. 
That's right. You'll what? be uh, uh, the Moosenstein. Moosenstein. Yeah. Yeah. Or Moose, Mooseberg. 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 <laughs> See, I don't believe that. I, I'm sorry, people. I, no one fucking way in hell was that human immaculately concepted. All right? I did not believe in that for, to start with. That was his birth. His death? I don't believe that. And his re resurrection? I believe the man was in a fucking coma, and then three days later or whatever, he woke up from the coma. Well, but but okay, let's say let's say let's say that happened. Yeah. Where would he go? He went to India. Okay. And he had he proceeded. He married a woman. I, I don't know if it was the same woman he was with, but he married a woman, and then they had eleven kids. Eleven kids. Yep. He was one busy or guy. Kids. I don't know if that's the exact number, but it was like, yeah, was, like a lot. He was a busy, bo busy boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I do not believe in the immaculate conception. No way in fucking hell. That is fucking bullshit. All right. It, it well, it didn't happen that way. It didn't go down that way. And, Sorry, the, the, Mary getting impregnated did not. It didn't have. It wasn't immaculate conception. No fucking way. Okay. So all this, you know, all these Christians, the Virgin Mary. No. Not well, that, a that's, that's kind of, that's kind of the... Not a virgin. No, not a virgin. <laughs> that's, that's, no. that's pretty much the core story, though, you know. <laughs> right. I know, but, you know, I'm ripping it apart. The trick is bullshit. That's what I'm saying. All right. No nope. way was it immaculate conception. Okay. I mean, I believe that they, when he was but, born, but tell me he this. was possibly anointed to be the Son of God, or anointed, or that label was put on him, but I do not believe the Immaculate Conception part. Oh. Okay, but, but tell me this part. Mm -hmm. Do you believe in the peace on earth and goodwill towards men? Men, the male species, or well, men meaning all? Men mean man being a... Human. Like all human, human. Man. Man is people. I do. I mean, I, wouldn't that be great if we could achieve that? I don't think that'll ever happen. No. I, I, I would I, like not, it. I not, mean, it's a good idea in theory. Not, not, like a, not as, you know, as long, as long as the psychopaths remain in charge, it's, <laughs> you know. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the thing that kills me, though, about the psychopaths in charge is that they well, we don't, I know they're fucking lying, lying. The whole hip, hypocrisy of it, because they come across as being good Christian people, right? Well, they try. And they are so they, they don't, far they don't really, from that, they that don't. it's not even funny. I mean, they're so far removed from being a Christian that it really, really bothers me. Like, it, it bo I mean, not, not, not to the point that I'm going to be like, oh my God, you know, my life is over. Not, that, not like that. But it bugs me because it's like, it's such a false, it's so false, it's so fake. You know, whenever I've seen Obama, like, at church or something, on Easter or something, the Obamas went to church service, uh, the church, and, you know, it's a Christian church. The dude's a fucking Muslim. <laughs> All right. Well, well, He's not well uh, you know, I, I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't even buy that. Uh, I don't, I don't. Right. I, I don't he, he's probably like the rest of them, Luciferians or fucking devil worshippers, whatever you want to call it. But they're fucking sick. Yeah, they are. They're sick people. They're not. They're not normal people. They're not. Even the the, the the craziest person you can think of right now that you know, these people are worse. Okay. They're worse than that. They're evil incarnate. They are. They all they are. I mean, they, they won't stop at nothing. You have to be. They you have to be. Stop at nothing. Right. You know, you you have to be that that kind of sociopath mentality in order to want yes. that job. Right. You know, total they narcissist. Be, yep. Total narcissist is your first thing. Right. And then, and then once you get the power as a narcissist, uh, then then you're going to do the craziest crap you can with it. Yep. And I, I think most of them find out, you know, they, they run for whatever, this public office. They find out once they get in there, oh, we're we're not really in charge? Dang. No, exactly. <laughs> exactly. How depressing, right? <laughs> yeah. 
I worked my whole life to be a, to be this super in charge guy, and and I'm not. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's it, you know, Christmas was great when you were a kid, you know. I actually feel a little bit of guilt from you know perpetuating the Santa lie. Well, and that's good. You know, but yeah. And I remember like. A couple when the boys were younger or whatever, with well when they were like old enough to understand like five, six, seven, eight, you know, before when they actually maybe I think they were like seven when they stopped believing in Santa Claus. But when they were five or six or something, nice, I didn't give all the like all their gifts were not from Santa. I made sure that some of them gifts said from mom on them. You know, oh, good. Because they were all really from mom. And, and wait, wait, did they call you mom, mama, or mommy? Mama, mostly. Or, you know, when they got older. Or, or, or mother. Mama. Mama. Or, or the disturbing mother. <laughs> yeah, Zach's gone through a phase. He, I think it's, it's almost done now. He was calling me mother and his dad father. That, that, yeah, see, that, that's, that's yeah. disturbing. Yeah, that was really, it's like really that. All right, say, say goodnight to Grammy. Goodnight, Grammy. I did say goodnight. Oh, okay. <laughs> Pleasant dreams, sweet dreams. Catch you on the flip side. And uh, don't let that chili keep you up all night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Remember Beano? Do they even still make Beano? Oh, I'm sure they do. No, they don't. I don't think so. I don't think it's been discontinued. Really? Mm-hmm. All right. I don't see it. I don't think it exists. I don't see any commercials for it ever anymore. It's not that I watch the TV, but... I hate commercials, really. I hate to test them, but... Um. Yeah, well... Oh, yeah. So, yeah, Christmas. I mean, it was great when you were a kid. Now, you know, tell, 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 tell me this. Tell, tell, me, tell me this. In, in your experience, uh, you, I mean, you go out to some of the stores and deal with humans... Oh, God. At, at, yeah. a much greater, at a much greater level than I do. Um... Uh, so, as you're out there and around, and it's this uh, supposed to be a uh, season of, of goodwill and giving and all that mm -hmm. stuff, are people nicer out there during Christmas? Dur during the Christmas shopping season, I should say, yes. I guess? Yes. They are nicer? It, 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 for, the, for the most part, I would say yes, they are. But so, if so you, it's coming down to... The last fucking fingerling, and you're at Target, and there's some other fucking person there trying to get that fingerling. It could be all out. Uh, oh, what now? Fingerling. What the hell's that? That's a hot toy this year. You know, every year they have this hot toy that always sells out. Like, you know, people are freaking out. My kid wants this. I gotta have this. Okay. It's monkeys that are finger puppets. <laughs> Monkey I'll finger. Look at, I'll look at all late. All right. So, so you got this the monkey. This is a hot toy for kids, apparently, this year. All right. So. <laughs> well, I was just wondering. I was just wondering if, uh, you know, if it was more like people are good and people are nice, or people are like we see on all the YouTube videos of Black Friday, where they're beating each other over their heads for um, right. whatever, or a toaster Black oven. Black Friday can be really brutal. I mean. But when you go to the stores, like, you know, I always... Wait, 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 wait. It, well, who is this for? Who, this who? is for little kids. I, I mean, you're talking about six-year-olds. Teenagers, year old. like, preteen, not preteen, not, like, young, young kids. Maybe, like, kids starting as old as six. What the hell do you do with it? Or seven. They're, like, interactive kind of tools. <laughs> they're, like, they react to, they, they, re, they make sounds, you know, they're like electronic things. Oh, this is a God. hot toy. So it probably spies on your kids somehow, right? Oh, I'm sure. It, it can't be good. These things can't be a good toy. I'm, I, yeah, no, yeah, no. I don't get it. I don't get the fascination, but that's the hot toy. That's the one that's been selling all, all around the stores. The cashiers are always nicer because they're always like, oh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Like, all right, so I just looked up here and she's uh 
fingerlings are being counterfeited. Biggest holiday toy this oh, season. Yeah. Fingerlings. Where to buy unicorn gigi? Robot monkey toys. <laughs> That's what they are. I'm not making this up. I wasn't making it up when I first said it. I'm still not making oh, it up. Man. Uh, Fifteen bucks each, huh? Yeah, but the, they're so hot that they've been selling out. You know, and then you get people that buy them. They buy a bunch of them on Black Friday or something, and they sell them online. <laughs> You know, for like over marks, you know. Yeah, well, I guess people want them for yeah. whatever reason. It shouldn't be. It, 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 yeah, it's fucking. It's ridiculous. He's, yeah. I'm just <laughs> glad my kids are past the Santa thing and shit. I was never so happy when I could didn't have to keep up that lie. I'm like, you know, I, I like I said, I kind of feel bad. It's like, you know, besides that, why does Santa get all the credit for all this fucking shit? I'm the one that fucking bought the shit. Right. You know, right. Which, I mean, and there was a real Saint. I wish the real Saint Nicholas actually did exist. I wish he would knock on my door right now and hand me an Am Anamita Mysteria mushroom. That would be fucking. Sweet. Well, that that would that, be great. That dude was a real dude, and this is where the story originated. A dude called Saint Nicholas, and he would bring oranges to the kids, and he would bring Am Amanita Mysteria mushrooms to the children, to the adults, and um. This was how you celebrated during the dark time, during the you know the time of winter when it's darker out and everything. And it you know mushrooms we we determined on this show or a BBC not a BBC study but a study was done in England that it's been proven that mushrooms cure depression. Yes, I said cure depression. Yeah. Maybe not 100 percent, but you trip a couple times a year on mushrooms, you you might not have depression anymore. And the well, Anamita, Anamita, the, the reindeer theory, the flying reindeer theory, yeah. comes from deer, reindeer, eating Amanita muscaria mushrooms. And they make you, like, hyper or whatever, you know? They make, and then, so the deer would jump around, and it kind of looked, it looked like they were flying. They didn't actually fly. But they were happy and jumping around and stuff. And that's what the of course, if flying reindeer. if while the reindeer had been on the, the mushrooms and you were also on the mushrooms, you may right. well have seen them reindeer fly. Right, exactly. <laughs> so people probably did see them actually flying, like you say, yeah, because they were also had some of the mushrooms. Right? See there, uh, uh, anti hands got a nice link there. Naturalblaze dot com. My magic mushrooms yep, cure go. depression. Okay, they all say they claim it cures it, see? And, you know, now where is pox? Because, you know, this is the bullshit with these antidepressants that they put you on, big pharma, and, and, and they make you worse. They make you suicidal. You go into the doctor, oh, I'm kind of depressed. Like, oh, I got a pill for that. Um, one of the side effects is that you could, it could back trigger, backfire, and make it worse, make you more depressed. It's like, uh, I don't think I'm going to be fucking doing that. Thank you very much. Right. So I don't think I want to be suicidal or slash homicidal from your fucking men. Well, when I come here, into here, here. I'm depressed, and you're going to give me something that's going to make me more depressed? Here, li you. You know? li li you. Listen, listen to this first paragraph. After okay. decades of a drug war, authoritarianism, and hundreds of billions of dollars, scientists are finally finally starting to discover what 20-year-old hippie kids bouncing from festival to festival could have told them all along. Magic oh, mushrooms help with depression. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> yes, they do. Uh, I mean, it, it's, it's ridiculous. This information's out there. It's not like this is new information, all right? But it's purposely not talked about by Big Pharma. Big Pharma is one of the worst fucking motherfuckers out there, dude. They're, we're just ba humans, especially in the United States. Right, if you if you go to the Western Dock and you hook, buy into them hook, hook, line, and sinker, every, everything, hook, line, and sinker, everything they're telling you, yeah. you go on their meds that they prescribe you, I don't know what to tell you. But they're doing, they, they prescribe the meds so they can get kickback. 
Oh, yeah, absolutely. They get, they get this fucking, they get these hot people, models, okay, men and women, to sell these drugs. Sure. To the doctor, to sure. the clinic, to the hospital. They come in there with their fucking Starbucks and their fucking Dunkin' Donuts and their fucking catered lunches. They fucking smooth these doctors up the ass. Hey. Oh, in the back room, too. You know? Oh, yeah. We, well, you know, it's, 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 it's not just... You scripts, and we'll put you in for a drawing for a two-week uh, you know, two trip to Bermuda. Well, you know, it, it's certainly not just them that does that. Um, no. And I, I don't know about trips to Bermuda and, and kickbacks and all that kind of stuff. But we... Oh, I, that's I, a thing, Graham. It's a real thing. We, we used to have... Um, the, the guys come in that uh, wanted to sell test equipment to, to the labs that I worked in. Right, and, right. and they'd bring all that stuff in. They'd come in. They'd pal around with us, joke around. Uh, you know, hey, yeah, how about you? How do you like this new oscilloscope over here? This function generator. Oh, check out this new spectrum analyzer. Oh, you guys can really do it with this nice microscope. <laughs> right, and they just want to, yeah. They yeah, just but they'd bring in all the stuff. You know, the, the coffee and the donuts, and the, take us out to lunch and all that stuff. You know. <laughs> And and for me, I mean, I, I may have been able to suggest certain things to buy, but I wasn't the one putting in a budget. But uh, uh, they they know that they need to also go after the the people down there at at that level, at the tech tech level, engineer level, um, in order right. to get the sales through the management. <laughs> right. Because they know the managers had no clue about what to actually buy. They they're just you know doing the paperwork and crap, and you're not they're not actually doing the work. So, so they'd come and schmooze around us, even though we we had no actual say, uh, only only influence. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I mean, <clears throat> I don't know. It's just ridiculous. Yeah. Hey, let's hear some more music. It's Christmas, so uh, yeah. Let's do that. We're doing a Christmas uh, show. Believe it or not. <laughs> but, but, but yeah, believe it or not, and, and we're going to start here. This song moves this guy uh, singing this song. He's looking for a date. Apparently, and um, you might want right. to try and try and get his phone number or something. I I don't know. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, the Foo Fighters from uh, uh, last week's um, Saturday Night Live show. Uh, Kate dug that up, found that for us. Uh, very nice, Kate. Thank you. Um, I haven't, I don't watch that show, and uh, so I, I had, I actually had not watched that video uh, prior to uh, just now with you guys. So that was uh, called the Christmas Medley. Uh, the Foo Fighters there. Uh, before that, we had Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree with uh, Leo Maraccioli, and we kicked it off there with the Christmas Date Blues by Mr. Joe Bonamassa. <laughs> so, yes, indeed, we do play the best Christmas songs here. And um, Grace Potter knocked up, oh, uh, kind of a shame. <laughs> I'm sure I'm, I'm sure she's happy about it. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> but no, it wasn't me. It wasn't me, I swear. <laughs> I mean, I would have liked to have tried, but you know. <laughs> Doubt that she would have uh, allowed me in that that zone. <laughs> You there? Hello, hello, hello? Ms. Bruce? Hello? Am I here? Are you there? Am I talking to myself? Okay. Alright. I guess it's just me. Oh, wait. I hear hello? it clicking. I hear it clicking. Okay. Hello? 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 <laughs> there you are. What, what was that? I don't know. Where'd you go? You, you like, disappeared. I was talking to myself. I must have unplugged this, my uh, headset. Oh, okay. A little bit. Sorry. Yeah, it's all right. I don't, I don't mind talking to myself. I'm pretty good at it. Yeah, no, she's, uh, I think it's her first child, so I'm happy for her. That's cool. You know? Yeah, no, that's great. That's, uh, 
I just saw, she's been posting stuff on Facebook and everything. Ah, okay. One of the guys in the band. Yeah, see, I'm not in the band. Is uh, it? I don't know if it is or not. Probably. <laughs> She's married? Oh, she's married too now? Okay. Oh, yeah, I didn't know that. That's cool. No, that's good because being a single mom is not an easy gig. Well, no, but it's much hotter. <laughs> what? It's much, much hotter when, when she was single. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. I'll give you that. Oh, boy. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. yeah, it's it's Xmas and she she's a fine fine looking uh, young lass. Yes, she is. So anyhow, um, yeah. Crypto. Let's talk about crypto for a couple minutes. Crypto what? Uh, no. Yeah, let's talk Go about. Go ahead. It. <laughs> Now Bitcoin today and yesterday had a, had a like a little falling down. It, it was it was hanging out there up around the nineteen hundred dollars, nineteen thousand dollars or so, and it dropped back down today to close to the like thirteen uh, k or something. And anyway, or less than that even, um, I think close to eleven k. But it's back up around fourteen now. And that's not really what I want to talk about because I, I don't really care. I, I don't own any Bitcoin. I own other crypto coins. And I got to tell you, it's very scary. Because yeah. I, I have these coins that I've had for years that were worth nothing for all that time. And the, the coins I'm talking about here for me, particularly, at this point in time, two two separate coins, the, the THC coin, which is the hemp coin, and the dope coin. Those two coins, yeah. those two coins together what they're worth at this point in time, even with the fall down of Bitcoin, which their value is based upon the Bitcoin value. My little ten, twenty, thirty dollar coins are now worth around eighty thousand dollars. What? <laughs> I shit you not. What the fuck? <laughs> I shit you not. At this point in time, at the exact point in time that it is. Now, anything could happen with those. They could go up, or they could go down. And they could go all the way down to nothing, or they could go up uh -huh. some more. It's a very scary thing, because I, 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 I don't want to... I'm not really ready to sell them yet, but it's crazy where, they, where they've gotten to, it, and they haven't even really started to take off. They've just gotten to a point where... It's insane how much these just those two coins are worth. I still have plenty of other different various other coins that may or may not ever do anything. Um, but for those two and uh, combined, so I, I'm, I'm, I don't know what to do with it. I, I mean, I'm, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, the, I had the several several months. Well, not uh, September. I had this coin. It was called Verge which used to be called Dogcoin Dark when it started. And I had a okay, bunch yeah. I, I had a bunch of them. I had over a million of those. Yeah. Anyway, they did I mean I didn't really think they'd ever go very far and I sold them off at what seemed to be a good price for them at the time. Right. That's how it works though. But now if I had waited until like yesterday that what I sold for about three thousand to four thousand dollars worth of those right, right. would have been one hundred and fifty six thousand dollars. Holy shit! <laughs> so, so I'm looking at these coins that I have now, and where they're at, <laughs> and yeah. then watching the 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 Bitcoin take its its plunge, although it's still worth you know fifteen times what it was at the beginning of the year. Um. And seeing these things and seeing what's going on with them and seeing what's going on with the legalization of weed in various places and, and the platforms these guys are developing in order to implement these across the different sectors uh, to, to get them into the, the various um, shops and things like that. And there seems yeah. to be a lot of excitement around these coins. And they could easily 
from where I'm at right now go up three, four, five, ten times. Right. From where I'm at right now, which I said, those two coins alone together are about eighty thousand dollars. <laughs> which I need that money, but um, <laughs> but what? Right. No kidding. So, but but then of course, if you sell them off, then you know, then if you have to, if you go into like dollars, then 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 the the tax guy comes and takes a bunch of it. Um, and, and you can't really get around that because the, the 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 exchange houses have to report all that now to to the uh, IRS, which is fine, which is fine by me. I mean, they were not they were worth nothing, and and it, it really took me nothing to get right. these coins, just you know goofing around back in you know three four years ago when I started getting them. So um, anyway, I do think that next year is going to be the year of the weed coins. So I uh, I just um, <laughs> I got a question though. Yeah, go ahead. Why call them coins? Why don't you I don't know. They call them that. Why, I don't know. Why did they call it Bitcoin in the first place? It's token. Well, now, you know, now, now see, now see. There's a whole different thing. They do. They do have right. what's considered tokens now, which are based upon other things that are not the same as coins, which are not actually coins, of course, but. Uh, yeah, right. it's very easily, I said. <laughs> There's that word again. Yeah, so I, so I, you know, um, I, I, I say, and I'll tell you this right now, I'm broke. I'm, I'm pretty much broke, um, and that's in U.S. dollar amounts. And I have this other stuff, but it's not real. It's just there unless I do something with it or convert it into something else. Yeah. So it's a very scary thing that I have here going on. Because I don't want to, yes, I, I don't, I, I, I mean, I don't want to lose that, and I don't, I, I'm not right, 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 ready to get rid of it because watching what's been going on with them over the recent days, and, and it's been very recent. I mean that that these have started to go where they've gone. <laughs> and I'm not, I don't, I'm not like asking for advice or anything. I'm just uh, sharing my my. Uh, I, I, I could call it grief, but it's not really grief. It's um, <laughs> anxiety, anxiety right, over anxiety. these things. <laughs> yeah. And, and you know, I'll bet, I'll bet Rome's is feeling much more of it than I am because he's got all oh, kinds. Sure. Of, he's got tons of different crap, and 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 uh, he he too had the same thing with Verge, except I think his uh, Verge that he sold off at much lower price than I did. Um, would have, and he had a lot more of it than I did. <laughs> so his his little amount that he sold for a few hundred dollars would now be like four hundred grand or something. <laughs> so, it, so it's kind of crazy, but uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, that's all. That's all I want to say about it. <laughs> okay. Well, there's an alter ego to Santa Claus called Krampus. 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 Yeah, I, I'm. I'm very. Right. I'm very familiar. No, no, no. Shroom caps are not better than dope coin. No, could, they're not. Well, I, 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 I could buy you pounds and pounds of there. shrooms for the dope coin that I have. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <Yeah>. Anyway, <laughs> so let's talk about Krampus. <laughs> okay, so he is number one. This, this is nine facts about Krampus, Saint Nick's demonic companion. He's not demonic. Okay. No, well, no, he, I don't think he is. I mean, he's like the altar Santa. Okay, so anyway, number one, Krampus is a Christmas demon. Who is Krampus? In Austria and across the German-speaking Alpine region, the demonic character is a crucial part of the holiday season. <clears throat> he's a devilish figure with long horns and a goatee beard, much like typical portrayals of Satan. You might see him pose harmlessly on a greeting card or reproduce the chocolate figurine, but you might also encounter a procession of Krampuses stalking throughout the town, laden with bells and chains, intimidating onlookers, or whipping them with bundles of sticks. Uh, number two, December 5th belongs to Krampus. If you su survive, you might get presents. December 5th is Krampus not. Not. Like, in night. German, that right? means night. Night, right. When Krampus reigns in the real world, people might attend Krampus balls or young men from the local Krampus group bay. 
Might don carved wooden masks, cowbells, chains, and elaborate costumes to run through a you Gotta town. have more cowbell. A Krampus loft, which is a Krampus run. And frightening and sometimes beating bystanders. According to legend, Krampus will spend the night visiting each house. He might leave bundles of sticks for children, or he might just hit them with the sticks instead. He might toss them into a sack or basket on his back and then throw it into a stream, or he might, uh, might straight up take them to hell. The next day, though, is Nicholas Tar. St. Nicholas Day. <clears throat> the name St. Nicholas, whose Dutch name Sinterklaas, evolved into Santa Claus. In other words, it's time for presents for all the little boys and girls, that is, all the ones who haven't already been beaten, damned, or drowned by Krampus. <laughs> so this is where the naughty and nice thing comes in, right? Right. you got to be nice, so Santa gives you a gift. If you're naughty, you get Krampus. You it looks like Krampus. It looks like Gene Simmons there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, number three. Uh, Krampus may be a monster, but he pals around with Saint Santa. <laughs> Satan Originally, was. Krampus was a purely pagan creation said to be the son of hell, H-E-L, <laughs> hell is hell. Hell is one of Odin is is Odin's daughter. Okay, but he got grafted into onto Christian tradition as a sidekick with Saint Nick, similar to figures like blah 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 blah. I don't know. Anyway, um, since the 17th century, the two have been linked in a sort of Christmas yin yang with Krampus as Saint Nick's dark companion. Costume figures of the two traditionally visit houses and businesses businesses together. St. Nick brings the gifts, Krampus brings the pain. <laughs> so anyway, um, I won't read the whole thing, but this is where a lot of, you can see, if you do research into the history of the modern Christmas that we have now, you'll see how it's been twisted and turned and Things from other, you know, it's really a pagan holiday that was abducted by the <laughs> Christian, much like yeah. Easter and all the other, you know, Jesus holidays. See, I'm not making this up. Like, it comes straight out of the, like they twisted it and turned it and, for their own good. You know what I mean? Sure, sure. They didn't like get rid of the traditions. They fucking twisted it, and rig it, you know, wrenched it. Yeah. Now it's all fucked up. So, so there, you know, there's Krampus. Grab a, or stuff a little boy into the basket. Right. <laughs> and this is where the naughty and nice comes in. If you're good the whole year long, then you'll get a visit from Santa who will bring you a gift. Or you could get Krampus who might beat you with a stick, just leave you some sticks, or beat you with one, or just take you away to hell. Hey, whatever it takes, you know. Kids, kids are, kids are a problem. So you got right. to, you got to, you got to do something with them. So you scare them with the Krampus. Right. You got to make them behave somehow. Just, you know. <laughs> well, you know, Santa. It's only July. They, Krampus and Santa can see you all the time. They know exactly what you're doing. <laughs> it's so <laughs> fucking ludicrous. It's like really. Who are these fucking people? Who I don't are know. these imaginary they, fucking motherfuckers? They, they, <laughs> they can go to they can go to a few billion houses on, on one night, so Right, yeah. <laughs> it's like they're magic. Uh, yeah. Oh my god, it's crazy. It's nuts. It's nuts, you guys. Think about it. You know, the true t tradition is it's a celebration of the solstice because it's a dark time. In the world, because, you know, when you're in the northern hemisphere this time of year, it's winter, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so you gotta do something to keep yourself occupied. You know, right. Stay Ab warm and fucking eat am amanita muscari mushrooms. That keeps the winter blues away. That's right. That's why Saint Nick, the real one, I wish he would be sitting on my door right now. That would be, I would be like, oh my god, finally. <laughs> the well, real Santa Claus. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Well, I'm not sure what this uh, this uh, next song's about, but um, it okay. may it may well have a, a tie-in to Saint Nick. Okay. Or or Jesus, for that matter. I I don't really know. <laughs> um, well, yeah, uh, but it was a request here uh, okay. that that uh, somebody put in, and uh, so I, I gotta have to play it. But I mean, it fits right in with the topic, so. Um. <laughs> So here you go. This is uh, Emmy the Great and Tim Wheeler. Oh, son of a bitch, bitch, uh, son of a bitch, bitch, son of a bitch, 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 uh, gun. <laughs> you thought I was going to say, uh, son of a bitch, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Porky Pig. <laughs> Porky Pig. With <laughs> Blue Christmas. Uh, so Joe Satriani before that. Yeah, the video wasn't very good, but the, but it's Joe Satriani uh, playing Silent Night, man. That's that's awesome, excellent guitar work there. And we kicked it off with a Kate request there. Uh, Emmy and the great Tim Wheeler with Zombie Chris Mess. Um, yeah, Moose, if you put like some other word in there, like for Christmas or whatever, it didn't take those those requests. So um, yeah. Uh, but if you could tell me what you want, I'll, I'll just I'll just look them up and play them. Just give me a name. I don't care. Uh, what what'd you want? It? Rudolph? What, what, what I don't you? fucking remember. I didn't fucking bookmark them. <laughs> well, I'm I sorry. Don't know. Down. Settle down. Settle down. Jesus Christ. No, I had some good ones. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh. Whatever. All right. Well, I... Great. Just great. Well... Did uh, you know if Barman doesn't come back and say he took your request that he didn't take it? They took it. It took it. Well, then they're, they, they, they're on there. I know they are because it didn't give me an error message or anything. Well, it wouldn't give I you an error message. If Barman would just ignore it, and Fluke would give you the name. So. Well, uh, fuck me then. Well, just so none of the songs you're playing tonight were requested by me. I haven't seen a request by you in here. That I, I'm sorry, but I that's I I don't know. I I went all the way back to October. I'm looking for uh, a Christmas request by you, but it wasn't in October. No, it I know. I said I went all ago. said I went all the way back that far looking for a Christmas request from you, and I, I'm not seeing it. There's a lot of other stuff by you, but none, none, none that would, uh, no, none of these are Christmas Eve. Oh, well. They're, they're yours. <laughs> Great. Yeah. So all that looking up I did and requesting did no fucking good. Well, Wonderful. I don't guess not. But, but, uh, yeah, I do. I don't like it. Well, let me see if I can find where you are. Oh, that's the whole thing. You don't want that. Um, all right. I'll put that no, in. I can't remember the name of the song, so I can't look it up. All right. Well, that's all right. No, I know, I know. It didn't know. work out, so whatever. Yeah, no, I get it. Oh well. Um sorry. That's all right. It's just fine. Yeah. Yep. Alright. Well. I mean I can't look him up while we're doing the show. It doesn't fucking work. No, That's I why I look I... him up when I'm I understand. Here, thinking about it. All right, well. This is one of them. All right. 
Oh, fuck the boss. Grim hates the boss. <laughs> the boss. <laughs> oh. All right, I think we'll, we'll, get, we'll, get, we'll get close enough. Um, <laughs> on the next set, we'll just play some that seem like something of yours. Santa Cow. No, don't do that. Just fuck it. Just play what you got, and just it's fine. I just, I fucked up. Eh, well, you know, whatever. I was requesting the song, so, because at one point in time, <laughs> we had it set up where if you put Xmas before the request, then you'll know that's for the Xmas show. No, no, see, like, 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 let me take this last one that you put in there. Okay, so if I type request Xmas and then put the song in, it doesn't, it's not, Barman's not going to recognize that. Well, you did have it set up at that point at one time. I, but, it, so in order to do that, it, it has to be without the Xmas. See, Barman never came back and told you he took that. Fluke says, okay. Yeah, Moosey ruined Christmas. That's it. Um, <laughs> God. Ben, you're such a dick. <laughs> <laughs> ruined it? I don't give a fuck if I ruined it. Oh. I'm not a fucking Christian. It's a Christian fucking holiday. <laughs> I celebrated my fucking Christmas yesterday. Oh, man. Yeah, there you go. So, a anyway, um, I, I don't really have any Christmas stories to, to share with y'all. Do you, do you got any more Christmas stories you want to talk or? Like what? I don't know. I you, you doing? I can your... tell you the story how my my grandmother tried to set her house on fire when we were all in her house at, for Christmas. Oh wait, is this a Christmas story? Oh yeah, I do have a Christmas story. Hang on. Then, no, no, this the... is the one you have to play this. You have to fucking play this. Okay. No, I fucking requested this. All right, request and it. And this is bullshit that my fucking request did not work. <laughs> fucking sucks. All right, well, put put your request in there. All right. I got one present. I got a Packers blanket for my son Zachary. Okay. No, I got two presents. I got a Packers blanket, and I got a twenty-five dollar gift card for festival at my Christmas party. That's what I'm getting for Christmas. Okay, well that's cool. Oh, and I bought myself a new car, but I have, you know, it's not like a present. It is kind of like a present in a way. It's a birthday present. Right. Yeah. There you go. Okay, so here's like here's, <laughs> here's the Christmas story that I had marked. It's not really a Christmas story, but here you go. On arstechnica. dot com, how Google, porn, and the birth of Jesus may explain human reproduction cycles. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? I'm not. Oh, my it's fucking a, God. It's a, it says, at Christmas, we're happy and Googling porn. I'm so happy right now. Nine months, now? Nine months later, there's an uptick in birth. <laughs> <laughs> Which is about, I sit pretty close into that. So, anyway, it says, tis, 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 tis. <laughs> That's a hard word. Tis. It is the season. No, it says tis. Tis the season to be frisky. According to a new study this week in, sci in scientific reports, Christmas in the United States often sees a spike in Google searches for sexy time topics and a surge and tweets dripping with language denoting happy, carefree moods. The online frolicking is followed by a seasonal uptick in births about nine months later in September, and the United States is not alone with this trend, showing uh, the, the study shows that a majority Christian countries see similar climaxes and internet romping around the celebration and the birth of Jesus, and a majority Muslim countries see them around Eid el Fitr, a joyous religious celebration uh, marking the end of Ramadan. Uh, the author suggests that the online data may show once and for all that cultural factors, i.e. happy holidays, explain why the yearly cyclical pattern of human reproduction for decades, researchers have debated on whether we're seduced in mass by cultural, such cultural factors or whether the collective moods are swayed by biological factors. Responses to changes in daylight, temperature, and so on 
or, or if it's actually some mix of the two. Uh, global explanations for the baby boom uh, cycles have been tricky to figure out. Many countries spot data or uh, spotty data on births, and study the study author notes it's difficult to glean conclusions from things like condom sales, an uptick in sexually transmitted diseases. <laughs> But with the advent of Google and Twitter data, they say it's a gift to the human reproductive studies. So it goes on to, oh, come, all ye faithful. <laughs> uh, I bought so, boxers and fucking other clothes. That's what I bought these kids. Stuff they fucking need. I also am letting them use my, my first three adults. So that's a pretty good fucking gift there. I, I don't care what you say. You know, I'm fucking cool. I'm that's fucking good, that's hella good cool. Stuff. I'm hella awesome. <laughs> hella. <laughs> so so here it goes on. It says, for this study, the authors analyzed Google Trends between 2004 and 2014, normalized by search volume. The researchers looked uh, at changes in search related searches related to sex, mostly search terms like sex videos, sex porn, porn and video sex. Over the se over 70 majority Christian countries that celebrate Christmas on December 25th, fully 91% saw a significant increase in sex searches the week of the holiday. So people are whacking it on Christmas, apparently. Notably, <laughs> well, they must be doing some more than whacking it if they're having babies. So anyway, notably, the researchers did not see a six-month shift term uh, search term patterns in majority Christian countries in the southern hemisphere. So it's just the northern hemisphere where people like to watch porn and then go impregnate their wives. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like a real rip roaring fucking time there. I'm telling you. <laughs> let's fucking all do that. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds like really a lot of fun. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, come on. Really? Fucking, are you kidding me? Uh, I, I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm I know you're not. I know you're not. <laughs> Read the story. It's right here. <laughs> okay. So okay, this just. I'm just seeing this now. I don't know if anyone else has seen this yet. But and I know it's a Christmas show. But fuck, you know, I can't help when shit happens. You know, I cannot help when shit happens. It happens when it happens. It happens when they want it to happen. Anyway, um, people have been startled tonight in Arizona and California. And you guys are going to laugh. I swear, Graham. Okay. Put this in PM so you can just pull up the picture before the others put them away. Yeah, that's not immaculate conception, Benoit. It's ejaculate conceptions. Yeah. <laughs> that's a different thing. <laughs> totally different thing. Immaculate conception is exactly what it means. That no sexual, sexual intercourse took place. The seed was immaculately placed in her womb. That is a bunch of bullshit. Anyway, okay. So, people call 911. What the heck is this? Arizona, California, 911 centers are inundated. We call that there a strange light appears in the sky. But it's just Elon Musk launching a rocket. Where's Zooms when you need him? This is a perfect story for him. But my point is, it looks like a sperm. Yeah, there you go. It looks like a giant fucking sperm. So anyway, people got all freaked out about this. They fucking like called 911 because of this thing. So there you go. Anyway, all right. So, uh, so that. What? Inter can you hear me? Yeah, I, I, I just wasn't sure. Interesting. What I mean, and then I, I've seen like, an, okay, now I'm going to make a prediction, Graham. Okay. I am going to predict that they are going to say the government is the United States government is going to say that they aliens do exist. They're going to actually well, they've talk already about said this, that, but this, yeah, but no, they're going to actually like try to use this thing, you know, this alien thing. They're going to be like, oh yeah, you know. You know what I mean? I just, okay, my prediction is that they're going to freaking acknowledge the fact that they have been in contact with aliens. 
that the U.S. government has been in contact with aliens and has known about their existence for a long time. That is my prediction. They're just going to finally let us, you know, because they, there's a reason why they're going to do this, though. They're going to do this because they want us to be, like, get used to it, right? Right. Even though they've been living, in my opinion, they've been living among us for a long time. That's thanks. Oops. Oops, sorry. <laughs> All right, there you go. <laughs> That's not exactly it, though. Well, if you if it, if it gets anything close to that, then you, then then you got it right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but I mean, that's what I'm saying is, you know, Roswell did fucking happen. Absolutely. The thing that they haven't, yep. The thing that they haven't told you is two crafts crash landed. One in Roswell and one a little a ways away, you know, in New Mexico though. In Socorro. Or maybe it was a different state. You talk about Socorro. Yes. Yes. Okay. And the Indian boys that found them. Yeah. That's that's a true story. I know. Two crafts landed there. Crash landed. I know. And, you know, they don't tell you how they crash landed, though. You think they shot him down, Grim? Well, uh, either that or... Do you or think it was crash landing or you think it was, like, purposeful landing? I don't know. I don't know. You mean, were they, were they landing here on this planet to, like, explore... No, I mean, they were probably... We don't know the truth. We don't know the true story. So it could, it could have been truth. lightning. It could have been anything got them, you know, whatever. Right, but. right. But they just happened to crash land, possibly, unless they were actually trying to land. Because it was in the fucking desert where they landed, right? Right. Where, where, what better place to land, you know? Sure. It's wide open. But I believe that the United States, I believe that way back at Eisenhower's time that this was occurring. See, this is the part that people are like, no fucking way, it's a totally modern thing. No, think about it, people. Think about it. If there no, yeah, if they, aliens exist on these other planets and these other galaxies, the time is different than how we know this human being. Time isn't the same. A aliens have been here since since day one. I believe that. I mean, I believe that. I do. I believe that Eisenhower made a deal with the Greys. I believe we got a lot of technology from aliens. We've gotten stealth technology from them. And they've gotten things from this planet. I think they need gold and diamonds. That's diamonds? I think. Diamonds are a communication tool. They're the hardest substance on Earth. I don't know about anywhere else in the fucking universe, but um, diamonds... Maybe this is one of the few plants that produces them. And maybe that, it's one of the that, few plants that, that could produces be. gold. And I, so I that's mean, what I'm I, saying is, diamond, deals diamonds, have been made. Di deals diamond have team. been made with aliens and the U.S. government. But but diamonds seem like... Technology has been traded. <laughs> what? Di diamonds seem like the easiest thing to make. Because all you need is carbon and pressure. But... Maybe there's no other plant. There's very few plants that have those things. Well, you have everybody's every, carbon's everywhere. So I mean, that's why I say diamonds would be easy. Gold is not that easy. Gold, exactly. gold's a much trickier. There's something that they want from this planet that the government has made deals with the Greys or whatever. Well, and it species. could, you know, it could be, it could there's be something. A, there's a bunch of different alien species. People like most people picture just one species of alien. It's like, no, there's many different ones. You can't just go, oh, yeah, there's only one alien. Besides, no, 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 no. Yeah. There's different symbols and different styles of how their body is and everything. Right. You guys can find this out. I've learned all this from doing research <laughs> just because I wanted to fucking know. These, ch these chatters are funny people. <laughs> yeah, they are. Yeah, right. You're no, right. I, I believe that Rob, I mean, 
Rome's, when you say aliens are real, I believe that. I don't think that the government's actually human beings. I think the higher-ups are not fucking human. I yeah. really do. I think the Rothschilds are not fucking human. I really do believe that. They're they don't look human. human. No, they don't. Look at fucking Queen Elizabeth. Or, or, She's not fucking human. She's a fucking lizard. Or Kissinger. He doesn't, he, he doesn't look human. Oh, God. These people are hideous. <laughs> they, they do bad. I mean... They're trying to look human-like, but they're not doing a good job of it. Yeah. I mean, come on, really? Come on, people. We're not stupid. I'm not stupid. I mean, I, I, to some, to a lot of people, I'm crazy and I'm fucking stupid because of what I believe and how I think. And you know, it's like you know what? I don't fucking give a shit. Think that. Go ahead. You have fun with that. You think what you want about me? I don't give a fuck. Oh, maybe maybe it's not diamonds they wanted, uh, uh, Hans. It's it's cubic zirconia. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, maybe that's what they wanted. Or rhinestones. They wanted oh rhinestones. yeah. <laughs> like a rhinestone alien. <laughs> oh God, hey, let's hear some more music. <laughs> Please, so I, I mean, am I actually starting to sing? It's time to play fucking music. That's just never a good thing. Never a good thing. You've got a, a lovely voice. No, I do not. Not you for singing. Not for singing. You do. Anyway, uh, here you go. Music. All right. Well, there you have it. The uh, Who Put the Pecker on the Snowman. Vocals and lyrics by Freddie Baggett. <laughs> and before that, we had... Um, the uh, Frosty the Snowman, uh, that was Jimmy Durante singing that one. Uh, before that was Alice Cooper and Santa Claus is coming to town. And we kicked it off there with Rudolph in the Island of the Misfit Toys. <laughs> Mama done it. That's right. Mama put the back around the snowman. That's, that's who done it. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, um, anyway. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, I see, I see you got one there. Um, it's, uh, <laughs> So who, who, who uh, where, what are you doing, doing for Christmas Day? You going up to to, to dad's or? I'm, no, Christmas Eve. I'm going to my brother's, and I'm coming home Christmas Eve night, and I'm not doing anything Monday. Oh, okay. Well, that works. I mean, I'm going to be here. I'm just no plans. I mean, right. I'll cook some dinner. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> Oh, okay. All right. Cool. Just relax. You know, I mean, I don't know. It's a day off of work. <laughs> yeah, no, that sounds good. That, uh, that, sounds, that sounds great. It's not a big deal. I mean, not really. You know, the kids are older now. And it's just not a, like I said, you know, it's not, it's, it's a religious holiday. Right. Religion that I don't. That you're not a part of. So it's like, yay! You know, people think I'm, oh, you, how can you not, are you ready for Christmas? Yeah, I'm fucking ready. I, I hate that. I hate when people ask me, are you ready for Christmas? Like, I mean, uh, have you? What did you get ready for? <laughs> I'm bad. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, it's good. I, I, whatever, you know, I. I will never I, go to a church. What church? I don't have to go to a special building. Church. Yay. All right. That doesn't work for me. <laughs> Sorry. It just doesn't work. Anti-hidden daring you to go to church. Okay. Um, uh, daring me to go to church. No. Well, it depends <laughs> on what church you're talking about, see. Define church. What kind of a church? You didn't define that. You didn't say which affiliation or what, you know. 
Just go out in the... outside my fucking door. I'm in fucking church. Just go out to... Just go out into the forest or something. Yeah, I walk outside my door. I'm in a fucking church. Yeah, Pasifarian. Yeah, I'm a Pasifarian. That's right. And a Rossifarian. <laughs> and both of those things. And I'm a pagan. I, I Some people call it Wiccan. Some people call it pagan. I don't know. Whatever. Call it what you will. So here's the story. I'm sure as hell ain't no fucking Christian. Like yeah, yeah. Um. I don't believe in the immaculate conception. How can I be Christ Christian? Right. Well, you know, it's a. Uh, you can't be. You can't be Christian if you don't believe in that, because that's the whole, like you said, the whole foundation. Right. It is. I, I mean, uh, the the yeah. immaculate conception and the resurrection. If you don't believe in those two things. Right, then you can't be a Christian. Christian. Those are the mainstays of Christianity, right there. Buying into those two stories. Those are the mainstays. Right. I mean, you could believe in something. You could believe in whatever I you think want. I asked my mom if Jesus was a ghost, because like you would have to be a ghost if you were if you were actually dead. You know, you'd have to be a fucking ghost. Well, but see, it's but see, it's more than that because his his according to the story, his body was gone. Right. Right. So exactly. he would he so he wouldn't. What the what? So he wouldn't be a ghost. He would be a zombie. Yeah. They, yes. They were they were shuffling over the India. What they were doing. <laughs> but yeah, no, his body wasn't there, so therefore he rolls from the dead. <laughs> yeah, and so and his body's not his body. Yeah, and and, and who dead. who who rises from the dead? Zombies. Zombies. <laughs> <laughs> so at, at, at every Easter at RLM, we always say Happy Zombie Easter. Happy Zombie Day. Yeah, Happy Zombie Day. Happy Zombie Jesus Day. Happy Zombie Jesus Day. <laughs> right, Jesus right. Day around here. <laughs> oh, my God. It's like, really? Yeah. The more you, like, research and the more you scratch the surface, like, you find out all this shit. You know, it's like people are like, oh, you don't know. Where'd you get your information? Oh, blah, blah, blah. It's like, prove me fucking wrong. Right. You know, prove me fucking wrong. You got diff you got some definitive data that shows that I'm wrong. I'll look at it. You, you're kind of drifting I'll give away. You a shot, but you, you, good you, luck with that. You, you, you're kind of drifting away there, What? You see, you're kind of drifting away there. Yeah, my microphone. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I just can't do it. I can't buy into shit that I don't subscribe to. They don't look for me. Yeah, I got four. I got Hanzo. I got four letters for you. B T F D. Yeah, you know what that. You know what that. You know what that means. No. B T deal. Uh, no, B T F D. Buy the fucking dip. <laughs> okay. Well, I didn't know that. That means but... when some when something drops a, a huge amount, some investment, that's when you buy. You but you're buying the dip because it's going back up. So. Right. So we go back up. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, Hans is is giving us news that that's that we all know. But thank you for that, Hans. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Hans, for pointing out the obvious. There's always got to be one person out there that's got to point out the fucking obvious all the time. <laughs> you know what that tells me? That you think we're all stupid. But this is news. I have I have news here for Hans. I think I may have left, <laughs> left him a message about it, but this is right there. This is his town, or right okay. in his area, anyway. Austin! There may... May, well, be a volcano forming under New England. <laughs> it says, 
It says if you're looking for if you're looking for a volcano, there's a number of places you probably check first, like Hawaii or Yellowstone National Park. But new data suggests you might want to turn your attention to the northeastern U.S. of A. Researchers from Rutgers just revealed that a large swelling of hot rock is bubbling up under New England, and it may be the first hint that a new volcano is forming under our feet. Yes, May. <laughs> the findings are incredibly interesting for a number of reasons, not the least of which the east coast of the U.S. is not exactly a hotbed for potentially dangerous geological activity. Despite that, the data is undeniable, and it seems that though, as though there is definitely something rising up from deep within who is, the... Who is giving this information out? This is on BGR.com, which is... I don't know what that BGR stands for. It's under the science it's heading, though. It's sheer porn. Well, uh, oh, oh, it, oh, it comes from Rutgers, though. The study is the study was done at Rutgers. I don't give a fuck. Um, what United States University this comes from? It's fucking fear porn. <laughs> well, maybe, but you know that would be cool to have the the them. No, it wouldn't. No, no, it, no, wouldn't it be cool. It would because because the East Coast always thinks they're so superior and. <laughs> they they need a good volcano out there. To, Why do they think that? I don't know why they think that. They just act like they're superior. I have no idea. Uh, it, it's you know. They're it's, pansies. It's the reason I hate New York. Um, it's it's their attitude. They're, they they if anything happens in New York, it's like the worst thing possible in the world, and it could be like a tenth of something that happened somewhere else in, in the U.S. But um, if it happens there, then oh no, the whole world's coming apart. <laughs> so I, I don't know. I, I've always hated New York, New Yorkers, I guess, for that reason. And so, uh, by way of hating New Yorkers, I hate New York because it's <laughs> full of them. There's millions of them there. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, there. Uh, um, yeah, well, um, we could not get lucky enough for you to have a reset in New England. Right. <laughs> that should be un right under D.C. That's where it should be. Uh, well, if it's if it's a good good enough size, then, then you know, anything can yeah, happen. Yeah, Boston, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is talk well, it's talking about Massachusetts, Vermont, and New Hampshire. So. There we go. It, it, it take take out take out all three, I guess. I don't know. It won't happen in our lifetime, though. Yeah, yeah you, you don't know. They don't pop up instantly like in the movies or whatever. They don't have time. Nature doesn't have time. They might. <laughs> you know, no. it's been it's been five years, uh, five years and a day, since the world was supposed to end. Anyhow. Right. Right. Yeah. It's supposed to be December twenty first, twenty twelve. You know, but those Mayans, right. those yeah. Mayans, they they weren't very good at predicting stuff or keeping time or something. I don't, I don't know what the deal there was, or maybe it was just the, <laughs> maybe it was just the people interpreting what they had to say <laughs> that weren't very I good. I think that's probably more. True yeah, it's not. probably more accurate. <laughs> yeah, those people making up what they had to say were, were uh, quite a bit off. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So uh, there's there's a new X Files series coming out. Did you know that? No. Yeah, it starts like uh, a couple weeks from now. What is today? Twenty third, twenty second. Yeah, yeah, about two 22nd, weeks. Twenty second, twenty third. Yeah. So uh, yeah, new X Files. Is it the same people though? Or? Uh, apparently, yeah, it is. It's 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 Scully and Mulder, and then they got um, Skitter. And somehow the smoking guy's back. I I don't understand that because he was blown up. It's in his dreams. No, I don't think. Well, not. No, it's, 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 hard, it's hard to it's hard to tell from the previews, you know. It's but. in the flashbacks room. He thinks he he's there, but it's just flashbacks. But. Cancer man is there. I, he's there. Somehow he's he's such an evil. He's like a one of the Rothschild <laughs> evil guys. 
And, oh, okay. And, well, that's fine. And so even <laughs> though he he was blown up by uh, these missiles off a helicopter at the end of the truth, somehow he's back. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe you know, you know, those aliens they can like re recreate themselves. Well, and there are aliens involved here too, so yeah, you never know. Anyway, let's hear some tunages. All righty. All okay. right. And this is um, for all you um, not such really lovers of the season. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, as a, a Rome's request there. Santa Chow and uh, Moo Re Christmas. <laughs> and before that, we had uh, Mr. Garrison from South Park singing Merry Fucking Christmas. Uh, before that was You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch. Uh, from the, the, from the doc, Dr. Seuss, from the movie, from the, uh, what the hell was that movie called? Maybe it was called Mr. Grinch. I, I don't know. Uh, anyway, the, and the, you kicked it off there uh, with ho, ho, fucking ho. <laughs> oh, man. I tell you, people are fun e. <laughs> yes, moo. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Ah, tell you. It's always nice when Christmas is over, you know. Yeah. Because, uh, you, you know, it just it seems like it, it, it goes, goes on. It goes from Thanksgiving to, it goes from before Thanksgiving. From, until, basically from Halloween. Right. It's eight weeks of fucking just not so. Right. So, it, so it'll be over. And we'll have our stupid New Year thing. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing changes. It's just New Year. No. Right. Uh, but, you know, it, it, people make a big deal out of it because it's on a human calendar, so. Right. Um, yeah. I just, the meaning of it to me is just last. Like, it's so commercialized. Like, Christmas, when, especially when the kids were younger, I saw this a lot. I mean... I still see it now, but I was just like, really, and I was buying into some of it. It's just like, oh my fucking God, what am I doing? You know, it's just like, ugh. Right, right. And it still doesn't feel good. <laughs> That's why it feels good to, like, give them stuff they need. You know, that's what feels better to me, is, like, give them stuff that they need, you know, for life. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, no. no I doubt. mean... You know, we needed to have two vehicles here. I mean, I can't keep driving them. I, I have to fucking work. You know, I, I, you know. Yeah, yeah, sure. No, I get it. It's like they're they're growing up. They have to fucking, you know. I have to be out of the picture. You know, not completely, but you know. Right. No, I. Like the same, I should do it no more. But, you know. Right. No, I don't know. Merry fucking Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a long one. Uh, six, uh, nine. Six, so, I guess the point I was trying to make is, nine, you know, it's become so commercialized. 12, it's not supposed to be about all this 15, crap. 15. It's just supposed to be about getting together with your family, you know, and stuff. It's not supposed to be about all these gifts and all this money and all this and all this, like, whatever. Right. Even if, even if you're a Christian or you're a fucking not, you know, it's so hard to avoid it. Like you can't avoid it. No, no, it's 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 everywhere. You know, it's uh, it's I mean, pervasive. It's called Christmas. Christ. Mass. Meaning you're a fucking Christian. Christ Mass. It's a Mass for Christ. Right. And I just, I stopped relating to that because I'm, I'm not, I don't, I, I, I excommunicated myself from the Christian church, you but, know. But wait, you, uh, you grew up as a, like, what, a Lutheran or something? Lutheran, yep. Midwestern, typical Midwestern, quote-unquote, you know, 
Oh, I didn't tell you. I, I did get a Christmas present, though. My uh, my sister sent me a set of pans, nice set of pans. Nice. Yeah, the ceramic uh, ceramic coating pans. Sweet. So I was able to throw out a bunch of leftover Teflon. Yeah, I, I need some new pans. Like my one big pan for cooking noodles and everything, it's like warped. It, it doesn't sit flat on the stove. Yeah. And that sucks because it takes way longer to boil fucking water. You know what I mean? Right, right. So. And it's like, oh my god, I need new pots and pans so and, bad. And I, and I did get another Christmas present via PayPal, but I can't tell so, you. I don't want to tell you because whoever sent it to me probably doesn't want me to say or I, I don't know. That's if, fine. If they do or not, but it was a nice amount. That's from, fine. From somebody we all Good. know and love here in RLM. Cool. Yeah, I was uh, I was really surprised. I was like, wow, that's a that's, that's a lot of money. <laughs> so yeah, it was cool. Um, so yeah, that came in like yesterday. So yeah, nice. Man. That's awesome, girl. I'm happy for you. That's great. Yeah, no, it was good. It was good. It was cool. So uh, yeah, I mean, I I was telling myself I'm buying myself a Christmas present while I was buying that car. Yeah. You know, even though I'm making payments on it, it's like, you know, it was still like, you know, we, we needed it. I needed to do something, you know. Yeah. Like well, I I, it's, so. it also, like I was saying earlier on the, on those on those weed coins, that's basically like a, here's a Merry Christmas for you, because it, 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 those all came right. out pretty, oh, pretty no suddenly. Kidding. And, and if, yeah. you, even though it's, uh, it causes me some anxiety, there's... That's free money. Right. That's a lot of it. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. No kidding. That's <laughs> like, awesome. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whether whether it's got anything to do there with Christmas or not, doesn't, doesn't really matter. It, well, it's Christmas to me. <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't know. <laughs> exactly. Oh, God. So, um... Yeah, I'm not going anywhere to do anything. I, I got a, I'm gonna cook a ham. I got a ham. Oh, nice! How big? That a small one or? Yeah, just you know, one of those little. I don't yeah. Know. Like I was at Walmart a week ago, and I'm like, I looked up their hams, and it's a good brand, but they're they're really small, and I wanted a bigger one than what they had, so I'm like, I'll just wait and go somewhere else. Yeah. I can find a ham anywhere. Oh. Well, but now, this time of year, they like to just call them because it's, you know, a lot of people buy them. Sure, sure. Turkeys and hams are a good price right now. Oh, I, I cook did, turkey I... dinners all the time. <laughs> I mean, I cook a turkey dinner in the summer. Like, people, it's weird to me that people think that they only should have turkey dinner, like, in the uh, one day of the year. Or ham dinner, for that matter. I cook hams and turkeys all the fucking time. Right. Well, I, they're easy to cook. And... You have like at least one more meal, if not three more meals out of those. You know Usually, what I mean? yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it's like I love turkey sandwiches. I just I love turkey sandwiches. I love ham sandwiches. Sure. You know? So it's like to me, it's like bonus, you know. Yeah. And it's, it's, yeah, you got to turn your stove on. And, and, and the last like, time oh, I was at, at 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 Smith's there, I I picked up a roast. Yeah. It's like I don't know, whatever, a four pound roast. It was like seventeen bucks. I get I get up to the 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 grocery the uh, checkout place there, and the woman says, "Did you get another one?" And I was like, "Why would I get another one?" So right. it's, oh, oh, these are buy one get one free. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I had to run all the way to the back of the store from there, but you know, you get right. It, but I, still, that's seventeen dollars. Yeah, and I, right. I, that's so, fucking so, awesome. So yeah. uh, if the if the cashier wasn't on the ball, I would you know whatever, but she was right. So, <laughs> yeah, nice. No, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. All right, well, we got to do our last set here. Um, okay. And uh, this first one, this is a uh, uh, Kate. Kate found this one. Uh, another okay. good, re another good Kate request. This is Tom Waits. So I, I dig that version, man. That's, that's, 
Uh, it's going to be one of my favorite, I, I don't know, maybe the favorite version of Black Betty there. Christopher Amoroso. Yeah, he, he, put, he put it together really well on that. Uh, before that, we had, um, it wasn't ACDC, but uh, what's the guy's name? Bob Murphy or Bob Rivers. Uh, singing an ACDC style, Jingle Hell's Bells. Uh, before that, we had Leroy, the redneck reindeer. Now, I don't know who sings that. Uh, oh, it says here, Joe Diffie. Joe Diffie? <laughs> All right. Leroy the Redneck Reindeer. And uh, he kicked it off there with Tom Waits, Silent Night, with the Christmas card from a hooker in Minneapolis. <laughs> that, that's our Christmas show. That's what we do here. <laughs> Once a year, we do. Uh, anyway, it was a good time. I had a good time. Did you have a good time, Moose? I do. I do. All right, we lost Moose again. I don't know where she went. Hello. Oh, there she is. All right. So, did you have a good time? Oh, yeah. All I right. Did. Then good. Um, <laughs> good to be by. Yeah, well, you know. Anyway, tomorrow you got the uh, the uh, dark table at noon with uh, Grandma and Flash. And I, Bo, Bo's been hanging around over there on Freedom's Networks recently, so maybe he'll come on and do some music, too. I don't know. Well, I, I don't know. But I'll be on Sunday morning with my annual Xmas blues slash rock slash whatever else kind of Xmas type cool stuff I have for you. A lot of good Christmas right. blues, though, let me tell you. A lot of good Christmas blues. And we'll be doing the trivia here in the chat room. Uh, so come on in for that. And then, and then, and then at 3 p.m. Eastern, noon o'clock Pacific, is Hal Anthony behind the woodshed. Opening up a big old can of whoop ass. I don't think his show will be X Mass related, but you never know. Of course, though, at 7 p.m. Eastern, Gary L. and Gigi's Boo on the road less traveled will be X Mass related, giving you some interesting, bizarre history type stuff about the whole X Mass tradition. So, uh, look forward to that. And, uh, I think we're done, unless you got anything else. I'm, I think I'm good. Okay, well, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy whatever, and Happy Birthday Asmo. Yes. Peace. Peace.